Well, as a vegan, where would you eat in Luxor? There are so many different places. Egypt is filled with rich culture and history. Luxor in particular offers a variety of different vegan options. Today I'm going to share with you some vegan restaurants that I found in Luxor. As a vegan chef, I'm always on the lookout for new vegan options. Going Going Backpack. Allow us to reintroduce ourselves. Our name is Going Going Backpack. In 2019, we had three kids under five, a new minivan, and a house full of things. With our eldest due to start school in a few months, we decided it was now or never to take an extended vacation. And so we set off to explore the world and be back in time for his first day. We were several months into our trip when the pandemic hit and schools around the globe shut down. It confirmed the idea that was already brewing in our minds, that there was no better classroom than the one our kids were already in, the world. We sold our minivan gave away everything that couldn't fit into a suitcase and became full-time travelers. Join us as we very slowly travel the world. Going, 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 going back, 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 back. The first spot is Luxor's only vegetarian restaurant, Juana's Art Cafe. And this is the only place in Luxor that you will find that serves 100% vegetarian. They do have eggs here, they do serve cheese, but you can easily ask the chef to prepare a meal that's vegan for you with no problem. This is my third. My family and I really enjoy this spot. It's the only pure vegetarian place in Luxor. This restaurant is amazing. The kids really enjoyed themselves. Juana's Art Cafe is not only a restaurant, but also an art gallery. Chef Saeed prides himself on making everything fresh. This is actually my fifth time there now with my family. The kids really enjoy the food here. They also love looking at art. So this was a treat for them. Next time you're in Luxor, don't forget to try out Juana's Art Cafe and Restaurant. 10 out of 10. <laughs> Next on our list is Nubian House. Although it is not 100% vegetarian, they do offer vegan options. The food here is amazing. At the Nubian House restaurant. We would always smell the food coming right into our balcony. Again, this place is not 100% vegan, think. but they do I know think. what vegan means and they can cater and accommodate any dietary restrictions. We're gonna have breakfast at our neighbor's restaurant, Nubian House on the Nile. What are we having for breakfast, Brigitte? <laughs> That's your favorite? Our beans are so fresh they look like they're still boiling. In the pot. In the pot. It looks like something's like on breathing air. <laughs> Lovely fresh salad. Nubian House, located directly on Ramla. Our next restaurant is the only Thai restaurant in Luxor, Cam Thai, which is available Sundays at Jazeera Garden Hotel. Cam Thai prides itself on bringing Thai cuisine oh no, that's a, to uh, Egypt. Hotel room. This place is not 100% vegan. Some of the dishes that she makes will not be able to be made because some of the sauces she uses have fish sauce. So don't expect a full-blown Thai vegan menu. In Egypt! The Jazeera Garden Hotel is a beautiful place. The hotel is one of the main hot spots for tourists when they visit Luxor. Again, Cam Thai is not 100% vegan or vegetarian, but they do cater to vegetarian needs and options. 
any dietary restrictions you have. Just talk to Cam. Hi, we're here on the West Bank of Luxor at Jazeera Garden Hotel, and this restaurant is called Cam Thai. This is one of the only, if not only, Thai places located in Luxor. Cam Thai is open four days a week on the East Bank of Luxor, one day a week on the West Bank of Luxor, here at Jazeera Garden Hotel. Good, you can enjoy the dinner The Jazeera Garden Hotel also has a pool, a traditional Egyptian restaurant, and a yoga studio. Yeah. This tranquil environment yeah. will leave you speechless. Cam Thai also offers a full bar menu. If you're looking for somewhere to hang around uh -huh. and socialize, this is the spot. We phoned ahead to find out if they had any vegan options and if the chef could accommodate our vegan needs. So, Cam Thai is able to accommodate our vegan needs and tonight we will be eating vegan food in Egypt. Here we go, let's eat. Cam Thai can accommodate parties of up to 40 people at one time. If you're looking for something other than Egyptian food, Cam Thai might be the perfect spot for you. She could not offer us the entire menu vegan, but some dishes she could prepare vegan. Masaman curry, green curry, spring rolls, pad thai. I'm a bit traumatized about fish sauce in uh, Asian dipping sauce. After an experience we had in Paris where we laid out exactly what we could and couldn't eat. And then uh, the meal was served with the sauce. So we were like, okay, well, we've you know, confirmed nothing. Can, can't eat any fish sauce, don't eat any eggs. And they gave us the sauce and we spread it all over our meal. And then we smelled fish. We asked and they were like, yeah, there's fish sauce in that. Thanks. Tonight we ordered spring rolls, a traditional pad thai, masaman curry, and my favorite, green curry. Some of the dishes she prepares use fish sauce and she's able to substitute that with soy sauce. All right, now we're gonna try the green curry. Peanut Egyptian fish. green curry put from Thailand. Sugar. Sugar. All right, we're just about to finish our meal. Does everybody enjoy the meal? I, re I really enjoyed the spring rolls, the pad thai, and the chili soya sauce. What did? You, what was your guys' favorite? What was your favorite? I enjoyed the spring roll. I enjoyed the chili sauce, and I enjoyed the pad thai. The pad thai was really good. What did you enjoy, Mommy? I liked the pad thai. Chichi, what did you like? The white and toya sauce. Chichi, Priya, what do you like? No, not. I mean the food that you liked. Okay. All right. So that was a really good meal. Next on our list, we're gonna jump over to the East Bank of Luxor. That's right, that's right. Here, we gotta you can more. find some of the best kushri in town. Kushri is a blend of chickpeas, lentils, rice, pasta, that'll leave you wanting more and more every time. Covered in a beautiful red sauce. If you're looking for breakfast, lunch, or dinner, kushri is available. Maybe bon appetit. Next on our list, we have Cup Coffee Sunrise Restaurant. Yes, it's called Cup Coffee. This restaurant has several vegan options, and one of my children's favorite was the morning crepes. After speaking with the chef, he was able to make us some 100% vegan crepes. My children love these things. Located on the front line of the Nile, Cup Coffee Sunrise Restaurant is a wonderful place to have a dining experience. The cafe offers many vegan options. 
falafels, tagine, rice, french fries, and more. Next up is Thebes Cafe. All right, I'm here at Thebes Cafe. Uh, this just opened about two weeks ago. They've already got plans to have vegan options. All down Ramla, everyone now wants to have a vegan restaurant. And I'm so proud of that because that's what my job is, to spread that plant-based living around the world everywhere I go. Traditionally, Egyptian food has many vegan options available. Fall, falafels, french fries, moussaka can all be made vegan. What do you think about the beans? Do you see this cruise ship just passing by? I'm gonna stop actually so you can actually see it. Look at that. And that, my friends, is the Nile River. I woke up like this. My family and I enjoyed a wonderful breakfast here at Thebes Cafe. La Bibia. One, two, three. La Bibia. La Bibia. One of my favorite places to eat is El Hussein Restaurant. If you saw our largest falafel video, this is where we made it, at El Hussein's restaurant. He primarily serves falafel. Although the restaurant is not 100% vegan, the number one food that they sell is vegan, a falafel. Next time you're in Ramla, check out El Hussein restaurant. This place, to me, has some of the best falafels in Luxor. The staff is very kind and accommodating, and all you have to do is ask questions, and they will be happy to help you. Now this next one is the vegan gelato cart. This is not a restaurant. It's a cart turned into a gelato stand and everything is accidentally vegan. I asked him to stop by my son's soccer practice and give everybody a gelato. We bought everybody a tasty treat. And again, it's vegan. This cart is only available in the summer days. During the winter months, the gelato cart is primarily a thing that's at weddings or birthday parties. But if you do happen to come to Luxor, Egypt in the summertime, listen for the horn. Shukra. That's the gelato man making his way down a street near you. Now, El Waha restaurant is probably my children's favorite restaurant. When we would have movie night, we would order pizza from there. By excluding the cheese, it became vegan. Garden in back of El Waha. This is where they get their fresh herbs and spices that they use in their menu. This is a great little garden. Right again, I want to thank this guy, especially. This guy is the man here at El Waha. This is an excellent restaurant. Again, everyone here has helped my family out so much. Whenever we needed a pizza, tagines, anything, this guy made sure it was all vegan, made sure everything was perfect for us. So, A Taste of India is, I think, the only Indian restaurant in Luxor. The food's fantastic, and they're not a vegan or a vegetarian restaurant, but they are. Um, they completely understand what those things mean. So, it's a great place if you um, have dietary restrictions because, you know, Indian food uh, lends itself very easily to being vegetarian or vegan. This restaurant also has a really cool story behind it. The owner, who was a foreigner, started the restaurant. And when he passed away, he left the restaurant to the entire staff. All right, this here is the head chef, Saeed. He's been working here, cooking Indian food for about 20 years now. Preparing it, making it, making it splash. That's how it goes. Now last on our list is Captain Gabber's Place. Captain Gabber's Place is not a restaurant. It's just his simple family home. But here, you can enjoy some of the best meals Luxor has to offer. <laughs> Captain Gabber's place is located directly near the Nile, on the front line. There you can enjoy his wife's freshly baked sunbread, his amazing moussaka, and my favorite Egyptian falafel ball in all of Egypt.
Captain Gabar was my next door neighbor for an entire year, so my family never went hungry. He taught me the ins and outs of Upper Egyptian cuisine. With his help, I was able to navigate my way around all of the restaurants in Luxor and a lot of the videos that I brought you. He was my assistant, helping me translate everything and making sure everyone knew that my family and I were vegan. With Captain Gabar's help, I was able to create some epic dishes in my own house. Thanks, Captain Gabar, for all of the cooking lessons. I will never forget any of these recipes. I'm gonna leave his location in the link below. When you go there, tell him Baba Chichi sent you and he will prepare you an upper Egyptian meal you will never forget. So there you have it. Vegan friendly places you can eat in Luxor, Egypt. So the next time you're on the West Bank of Luxor, don't worry about asking about vegan options. They are available. Vegan in Luxor. It is possible. All right, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and join us for more amazing adventures from around the world. Going, going, back, back.